connection. There's Ted's. Oh, that's Ted's ripping a hole in the furniture. <laughs> right, let's swap it around. Hey guys, we're on. <laughs> this is exciting. Hang on, I need to put this somewhere. We're figuring this out. I might have to like, do you know what? I'm gonna grab some books. So I'm gonna put you up higher. Bear with us. I hope this is working. I'm putting you up on a stack of books. Wait there. Uh, uh, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Hello. Hello, beautiful people. Here we are in the kitchen. Um, we're in London. We're in lockdown. Everyone's in lockdown. But we, this is where we've been spending most of our time as a fam. Jez is here. Hello. <laughs> Because if I'm cooking, I need someone to assist just in case I burn the house down. So, thank you for joining. This is so exciting. We're going to do a little cook along now. Um, as you know, I'm an ambassador for Slim Fast. Um, I've been doing the plan for like the last couple of years, and it's honestly transformed my life, my body, everything. Um, so, I wanted to share with you some of the lovely recipes that I've been cooking. And we've been enjoying our home. So the one that you chose is the comforting carbonara, which is spaghetti and courgette carbonara. Jeremy is Italian. So when I said I was doing carbonara, he said, you don't know how to do carbonara. And I said, yes, I do. And he said, no, you don't. So he's had a look through this. He's not in complete agreement with the wheat pasta. However, um, we are going to be using that. I'll show it to you. It's Food, not FOMO. So you're not really missing out on all the lovely things that you really enjoy and you love. Um, I'm gonna read you through what we need. We need 60 grams of Parmesan cheese that's grated. Jeremy's already prepared that for me, which is great. One egg. <laughs> oh, you got me my sous chef, just hand stuff. Um, 50 grams of half, half fat creme fraiche. We don't want full fat, half fat. That's in the fridge, so we can get that out now. Jez is over there getting it out of the fridge. I'm not gonna lie, we have spent the last half an hour cleaning up the kitchen. Um, so we've got some creme fraiche here. We've got some, we've got courgette. Courgette, some spaghetti, some wholemeal spaghetti, not whole wheat, wholemeal. Frozen peas, smoked bacon lardons, two garlic cloves, finely chopped, and a handful of chai. What do you think, Ted's? Oh, look at him, bless him. Right, here we go. I don't think you can really see the kitchen too much. I'm gonna try and so you can see it all. Right, let's get cracking, shall we? <laughs> this is so weird. If you've got any questions, let me know. Do you like sweets? Of course I like sweets, this is the trouble. Right, we're boiling the kettle, because obviously we wanna get the pasta on the go. The Jezza at the moment now is Getting the lardons out. I love bacon, don't I? Um, right, it says here, mix two thirds of the cheese, egg, and creme fraiche in a bowl with a little pepper. So let me do that. I don't know how you're gonna see me doing this. If I do that, here we go. Have I got my mixing bowl? Right, two thirds of the cheese. Here's the cheese. Two thirds going in. We love making carbonara, don't we? Jeremy always makes carbonara. Sure. It took you a while though, because it's quite complicated, because you don't want the egg to go like bitty. Yeah. It's got to stay creamy. So sometimes when it when the egg kind of gets overcooked in a carbonara, it sometimes goes a bit like it just doesn't. It's not as nice. So the idea is to just like mix it really quickly. Right, so we've got three quarters of the cheese. We're doing it this, that's why I'm following this because we're doing it their way. Right, egg. I'm gonna mix the egg. Put the egg in. Um, and creme fraiche, how much? Okay, 50 grams of creme fraiche. So how much is in this? 200, so it's like a quarter of this. Uh, just give it yeah, a teaspoon. Down a little teaspoon. <laughs> what I love is that it is lunchtime, so we can eat this in a minute. Right, here we go. So that's all in there. So we want to mix all of that in a bowl with a bit of pepper. Thank 
Thank you, Jeremy. He's even got me the pet alert. I don't have to go far. Thank you. So mixing all that in a bowl, get it all lovely jubbly. I hope you're all doing this at home. Sorry, Ted, am I being too loud? There's a big one to sleep. Little Teddy's been on a long walk for a couple of hours, so he likes to sleep. He's, like, he's looking at me like, why are you being so loud and talking? Right, so this is kind of going a bit like that, look. It's kind of separating a little bit. Looks a bit like cottage cheese. Teddy won't eat his dinner until we've eaten ours because he just likes to hold out, see so if he can get something a bit more exciting. He does love a bit of spaghetti. Right, so we're doing this. Look, we've got people from India joining us. Hello, everybody. Hello. Isn't that nice? Right, using a vegetable peeler, slice the courgettes into ribbons, then slice the rib ribbons lengthways. I don't have, I don't think I've got, I always do it with a knife. I actually don't think I've got a vegetable peeler. Do you know what, I'm just gonna do it, I wouldn't recommend it, here we go. I'm just gonna do it like this. I'm gonna do it like this because I can control it a bit better. They're not really gonna, it's not really gonna be ribbon right. I don't actually like using a vegetable peeler because I can't control what I'm doing. Oh, it's not really gonna be ribbon though. It's, it'll be fine. I'll slice it after. This is what I love about cooking. You just gotta improvise and just make do. It's not like baking. I feel like with baking, you can't really make it up as you go along. If you leave out a key ingredient, you kind of know about it. But I feel like with cooking, you can just like get a bit more creative. So. You alright Ted? You wait for me to drop something so you can eat it. Teddy's just had a little bath, so he's all wet. He lets me blow dry, but not his face. He doesn't like his face being blow dried. Right, this isn't looking that ribbon like, but I'm gonna slice it. I will slice them so they become like more like ribbons. And the garlic. <laughs> and the garlic. Jerry, what's your favourite Italian dish? I think carbonara. Yeah, I think carbonara too. I just don't think you can go wrong with it. No, so, and really this is like a healthy one as well, because you've got the courgette. You don't, you don't usually put peas and courgettes in your carbonara, do you? No, I just do the traditional one. Just the pancetta, yeah. the egg pancetta, and egg loads egg, of cheese. Yeah. Well, I like this because you've got two of your five a day here. So I'm making some little ribbons now. Actually, they're not ribbons, they're more like little courgette sticks. <laughs> Ted, you're not having a courgette. He's got a bowl of beef over there, he's got no interest in it, he just wants what I've got. Right, we're getting there. Is anyone asking any questions? Have a little look while I'm doing this. I'd love to know like, who's currently on the Slim Fast plan, if any of you are doing it, if you've been successful, if you're struggling in lockdown. I find in lockdown, it's just so hard because you're just so close to the fridge all the time. <laughs> but this is what's great about this cookbook is that it's all the recipes in it I was so shocked, you'd look at it, you're like, I can have that, I can have creme fraiche, I can have carbonara, I can have pasta. Like, you don't realise that actually, just because you're, you know, watching, or you're trying to lose weight, it doesn't mean that you can't, like, have what you love. Because I think that's what makes it kind of sustainable. And it's definitely how I've kind of kept the weight off, is just by not depriving myself too much. But I've kind of like cut the courgettes. It's not really ribbon-like, but it'll be fine. It'll all taste the same, won't it? Right, so we need to now cook the spaghetti al dente. What does al dente mean, Jeremy? It's like not, not too much... Uh, not too much done? Exactly, yeah. Uh, two minutes before. Okay. What's a good Italian phrase? For what? Just say, um, Kelly, you look so good on your slim fast plan. Se bellissima. Se bellissima. There you go. He's got all the chats, isn't he? Right, um, here we go. Ted just walked by. <laughs> Ted's waiting. <laughs> he's got a little wet face. I did blow dry, but he won't let me do his face, so he's all dry. Come and say hello, Ted. Here, yeah, look. Hello. Hello. Little Teddy. 
Are you alright, monkey? Mm, you haven't shown much, I love him. Right. Here we go, we're nearly there. So, the spaghetti is not cooking yet. I'm going to put the spaghetti on now. So, this is whole wheat spaghetti. Look, healthy spaghetti. I'm going to take you over here. So, we're boiling the water. It's going to... We always boil the kettle. It's going in, it's going in. See how low I can go. I don't put my hand in, obviously. Be careful doing this. Once it's there, I'll then just get the knife, just like bash it in. Bash it all in, bash it all in. Here we go. So let that boil up. And then it says here, add the peas into the last few minutes of the cooking time. So we're going to add the peas into the spaghetti. Jeremy, as a as a real life Italian, what do you feel about adding peas into the spaghetti whilst it's boiling? My heart is... is yeah, that stresses him out. Like, he doesn't understand that. But, hey, it's, it's not his recipe, so it's ours. So we will do that in a minute. So, okay, Jez is going to cook the pancetta. Does help if you have a hot Italian man helping. I don't know why, but... It's, it's so weird in the kitchen when there's like two of you doing it. <laughs> I get all like, I don't know where I am. Right, here we go. Uh, da, da, da. When the pasta and peas are done, drain and add to the bacon and the garlic. Right, so he's cooking the bacon. Have you got the garlic? Yeah. Oh, you've crushed the garlic. So you need to crush two cloves. Oh no, it says chop actually. Uh, chop two garlic cloves. I always crush the garlic, but I guess chopping it, you get more of it, don't you? I like to clean up as I go as well. Get rid of all that. Get that out of the way. Another little mix. Yes. <laughs> As Jez is like just going to carry on, I can answer any questions. If you've got any questions about Slim Fast or if you want any advice or any encouragement, let me know. Who else have we got here? I love all the little love hearts. Hi KB, hello, hello. Lots of emojis, not too many questions. What are you all having for lunch today if you're not cooking this with me? Respect to the Italian chef. Jeremy actually has become a very good Italian chef in lockdown, I have to say. He does cook most nights. And it's often pasta. Which isn't good for my slim fast plan, but hey, sometimes we can cheat. I'm in trouble. No, you're not in trouble, babes. Right, now add the cheese mixture and courgettes with it. All right, so we're pretty much, there's not really much else to do. How long do you think that pasta's gonna take? I wonder if whole milk take is quicker. It's not more than 10 minutes. Okay, hey, let me see if it's al dente. Let me have a little it's not al dente, that one. Oh, it's not al dente, here we Five go. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Five more minutes, should I add the peas yet? Jez is cooking the lardons. <laughs> Teddy doesn't, he's so funny, look. He's like, why are you talking out so loudly? <laughs> doesn't know what's going on. Right, we've chopped the little chives. Look at, like Jez has literally prepared all this in little bowls for me, measured it out, he's so cute. Love it. I might get a couple of plates out. I'm actually starving now. Right, plates are out. Actually, I might put them. I'll okay, well, put them over here. That's is that all the pancetta? Yeah. It's it's all that he's put all the pancetta in. It says ninety grams. How much have you put in? You put in two hundred grams. Just okay, he's done two hundred, but it's ninety. No, it's fine. That looks lovely. No, it be really Kelly, please adopt me and raise me as your own, okay? Let's be honest, everyone wants to see food. Yeah, yeah. fluffy teddy bear. This isn't hygienic, is it? The dog while I'm cooking. Sorry. I will wash my hands. Right, 
Bacon's cooking, pasta's cooking. I've actually never watched a cook along, a, like a live cook along, so I don't really know whilst things are cooking, like what you're supposed to do. I can tell you that I'll be going to work in about an hour and a half. So if you're bored later, tune into Heart Radio, I'll be on there later. <laughs> Love a little plug. Um, what else are we doing here? Do, 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 do. Spoon the pasta into two serving bowls, serve immediately, sprinkle snip chives and pepper. Well, everything's pretty much under control. I'm just wondering at what point you put the courgette in. Cook the spaghetti al dente, pull in the pan. Cooking, fry the bacon and garlic, into the pan. With the pasta and peas are done, drain it. Well, I guess you just have the courgette like that. I'm not sure about raw courgette though. Kind of like courgette, like cut up and chopped up and put into the pasta. I mean, I think you could just do what works for you, really. Yeah, should I just chop it up and just put it in? I'd much prefer yeah. a little bit. Let me chop it up though. Right, we're going to change it a little bit. We're just going to chop up the courgette because I don't want it raw. I like it a bit softer with the garlic. Okay, I'll just chop it. I bet professional chefs are there, like, what is she doing? Right, I'm just going to chuck this in for a while. The garlic's in there, isn't it? Oh, that's got to be chopped yeah. up. Sometimes feels a bit, a bit different. Um, how's that? Should I put the? I'm going to put the peas in now with the spaghetti. Yeah, come on. Now. We'll I'll do change. that. Two minutes. Three minutes with the peas. So they go in. You're seeing everything here. So that's doing that. And that mix. Spaghetti, don't you, Ted? I'm not going to do that. I was going to do legs in the trunk with the dog, but I'm not going to do that. That could be a disaster. Spaghetti needs another couple of minutes. Yeah, two minutes. If you're just joining us, we are doing a lovely recipe from the SimFast Food Not FOMO book. And um, we are making the spaghetti and courgette carbonara, which is really simple, really delicious. It has 599 calories in and it serves two. So that's good, 35 grams of protein, 51 grams of carbs, and 28 grams of fat. You can make this veg. You can make this recipe veggie by removing the bacon and adding 100 grams of baby spinach. This will leave plenty of spare calories for one of our delicious snacks. Oh, that, that's nice. And also, you can swap the courgette for asparagus. That's a nice idea. We love us. You, you make that, don't you? You do no, carbonara with asparagus. He does that. It's really nice. It has a really lovely flavour, actually. Yeah. See, when it comes to carbonara, usually Jeremy's the one. I have to say he does all the pasta dishes in the house. 
Right, what do we think now then? We're going to add the cream mixture. <clears throat> When the pasta room piece is done, mm -hmm. draining it to the bacon. Do you think that's done? Yeah. Okay, so the pasta's done now. I'm going to drain the pasta. Okay. Yeah, go on, show him the. <laughs> Voila! Give it some love. Right, here. Drain this. Um, you want some cream? The, um, I'll bring the camera over to that way. Let's move that out of the way. Right, come over here with me. So, I'll spin it for a sec. So, we've drained the pasta and the peas. We've now got the bacon is that still on though we want that on still don't we right so now so what do we do now jezza we put so that we into there there we go go on then i'm gonna film and jezza's gonna do it actually i'll do it like this so you can see both of us so we're gonna put the pasta and the peas in with all of that mix it all up and then the cheesy sauce that you made we add that and the key is to mix it really quickly so that the, it doesn't go all like bitty and horrible. Look at that, it's like a true Italian. Mm. Actually, I'm gonna get the tongs out because I like to serve it with the tongs. Okay. Tongs. Here we go. Tons of lace. Here we go. Look how quick this is. Ooh. Mm. Yum, it's gonna mix it all together. Yum, yum, yum. Delish. Starving now. Yeah. And then we've got some of the parmesan left over and some pepper and stuff. <laughs> Sorry about my really sad, <laughs> my fruit basket has seen better days. Um, yeah, we'll put that in. Just the plate. I just can't get an online shop these days. <laughs> Okay, what do you think? Yeah, that looks lovely. Look at that. Right, we're going to serve it up. Okay. Then we're going to go and eat it. Thank you for joining us. We're nearly there. Yeah, we're going to add some pepper. Don't you worry. How good is Jezza? Thanks, babe. I don't know how I would have done everything. Just... Right, I'll get the plate. Oh, do you know what? You can come and join us at the table. I'm going to light a candle. It's going to be a candle at lunch. Oh, it's so romantic, Jezza. If you put it on, do you want to put it in a big bowl? Hang on, I've got an idea. Let's put it in a nice serving bowl. Get this out. I've got a nice Italian style one. If I can get it up, covered. Oh my God. Everything's falling everywhere. Lovely. Right, here we go. Come with us. Hang on, Jess. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> this is a disaster. It's actually really nice. Here we go. Guys, I've got the tongs there. Other than my terrible camera skills and dropping the phone, there we go. That is courgette. Oh yeah, and we've got to put the chives on. Don't forget the chives. This is looking lovely. And maybe a bit more cheese. Go have a bit more cheese. Look, I've even lit a little candle. Look how romantic. There we go. And that is. That's it. Thank you for joining us. I hope that wasn't too much of a disaster. It is always a bit chaotic in the kitchen. 
But yeah, so that is a recipe from the Food Not FOMO book. Comforting spaghetti courgette carbonara. Thank you for joining us. We are gonna go and eat our lovely lunch now. Look how gorgeous. Hang on, let me spin it so you can actually see what we've done here. There we go. Hang on, take those out, babes. Take that out. There we go. There it is. Sorry, it's all in the presentation. So professional. Look at that. Wow. Okay. We're going to go now. Thank you for joining us in our kitchen. Mwah. Big love. Stay safe. Bye. Got to turn it off now. I don't know how to turn it off.